7 News Scam Watch now. More than 40 victims of bank card fraud have come forward, and they're all in one concentrated area of the upstate, and Union County. Today I met with some of them and the sheriff as agencies try to narrow down how the debit card numbers were stolen and where that money is going. If there were ever a day that didn't have enough minutes to spare. We'll take all the reports that are reported to us. Today is that day for Union County Sheriff David Taylor. We've had four come in this morning and our guys are taking at least two more reports right now as we speak. Forty people who bank with Arthur State and a handful of others became victims of debit card fraud in a matter of seconds. April Lawson says $1,000 was drained from her account, eight transactions minutes apart. It's hard to sleep at night knowing that you got bills that's going unpaid. Another thing is being able to provide for the kids' needs and, and their wants and not being able to do it. A story echoed by other victims like Antonio Smith with two kids and only small change left in his account. When I looked at it, it was a dollar and 42 cents. And I was like, no, it, it really can't be happening. The banks are urging anyone affected to file police reports within your jurisdiction. They can then file a claim with their insurance companies, which means they're more likely to put that money back in victims' accounts. As the day went on, more calls came into agencies. So far today, we're up to 10 reports. The city is up to seven reports, and the town of Jonesville has one report. The only upside to many victims, more evidence on the source of the breach. What we will start to do now is put the pieces together, find the common denominator. Most of the people that I've talked to that account was affected have used the ATM at Arthur State at West Town Plaza. Oh, me too. Arthur State Bank told us a skimming machine may have been put on or in this ATM last week. I hope that they catch whoever done this to not only me but everyone else.